Outlaw Lawyer. Welcome back to the Outlaw Lawyer. We have Josh Whitaker and Joe Hamer, managing partners at Whitaker and Hamer, also practicing attorneys here in North Carolina. Our special guest on set is Cassandra Nicholas, also an attorney at Whitaker and Hamer. I'm Morgan Patrick, consumer advocate. Whitaker and Hamer offices in Raleigh, Garner, Clayton, Goldsboro, Fuquay, Brina, and Gastonia. If you've got a legal situation you're facing, you've got questions, I've got a phone number for you, 800-659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. Leave your contact information, briefly what the call's about, and an attorney with Whitaker and Hamer will be in touch. And you can always email your questions to the program. We'll try to answer those on future shows. And again, that is questions at theoutlawlawyer.com. Depp versus Heard. Before we get there, Morgan, I wanted to check in with our friend Joseph. I understand, Joseph, that you are uh, correspondent, Joe. That you have yes. that you have not uh, you've been fasting, so you have not eaten breakfast today. Yeah, man. Um, I'm not a you know. <laughs> yes, this is true. <laughs> are, are you, you able, doing? Are you able doing? to focus? <laughs> yes, I'm doing great. You know, you ever wake up and just be like, I hate the way that my body feels right now, Josh. Has that ever happened to you? It does. It happens a lot. It yeah, happens a lot. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I eat a lot of I eat a lot of uh, I eat a lot of Mc breakfast, Josh. This is a, I'll tell you that burger is like that. It's my worst meal of the day. Um, and uh, there's this thing. It's intermittent fasting. Some people do it. It's supposedly very healthy for you. you basically, you, you have a varying window of fasting. It has health benefits, apparently, is what I've heard. Uh, so I've been doing that, man. And you like it? Yeah, it's going all right. It's good. Like I mean. It, it sounds more difficult than it is, and I think it's tough at first, and then gradually you kind of you get used to it like you do with anything else. Break it down. What do you do? I, I, stop, I usually just stop eating between like 7 and 8, and then I'll eat again at like between 11 and 12 usually, somewhere in that area. So and, uh, seven, 7 to 8 o'clock at night. Somewhere around there. It's supposed to be 16 hours, I think, technically, but I mean, I'm kind of, it's it just loosey-goosey, man. I'm not too serious about it, but I'll drink, I'll do water, I'll do black coffee, um, Big black coffee guy. I don't know about mm. you, Josh. Okay. Don't like putting okay. things in my coffee. I don't man. either. I don't Very, either. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's, it's, it, I don't know the science behind it, but like it, there's the proponents of it, like the smart ones, not me, the ones that are smart and know things, they can like rattle off crazy health benefits for it. There's just a lot. And, it, and, and I think the theory is this is all, I could be completely wrong because this is not, I'm an attorney. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not a, a health science person, but I think the theory is, is, uh, in, in the wild, like if you look at us when we were like in the wild, like we wouldn't just consume food constantly. Like there wasn't a constant supply of food. You would hunt. So you'd spend time looking for your food and then you would eat it. So yeah. there was these windows. So like that supports a more optimal, you know, that's, that's I think that might be. We're going back to caveman time. We're going back. We're going back. So I got a question for everybody. Uh, Fast food breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's delicious. It is, man. And, it, and it, it honestly has to have some, like, there has, I've determined that, like, what they put in crack, they put in, like, McDonald's biscuits. Okay, before we get into this, you know, just from a sponsorship deal, sure. do we have to mention names? Because we could go out and get advertising for the show. Well, this is the thing about, like, I think that's <laughs> a pretty good ad. Like, <laughs> McDonald's <laughs> biscuits, as good as crack. But no, no, I was going to do, well, what's, uh, McDonald's was an egg McMuffin. What's their biggest? They price? got McMuffins. They got McGriddles. They have got hot. What do you cakes. like the best? What do you? What would you get? Just a biscuit, man. I'm not a complicated guy. All right, Just all right. give me a biscuit. All right. So you got a McDonald's biscuit. You got a Burger King croissant one. Yeah, you're. Oh. Which one do you? Which one do you prefer? All right, man. So I, I, I we could, we could do several minutes on the nuances <laughs> between the McDonald's and Burger King sausage. <laughs> That, that Burger King sausage has got a little more spice to it, man. Uh -huh. It's got a, it's a little more authentic uh, to like that what your your like grandmother would cook night or like what your grandmother right, sure, would cook, right, obviously. Right, right. But then that croissant, man, something about that croissant really does it for me, man. So it's funny, man. I probably prefer that Burger King, but I I, I I eat that McDonald's a lot more. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because I'm lazy and it's where I drive more right, frequently. Right. But, Cassandra, uh, any thoughts? I'm not on this health and fitness grind. We went. As a firm well, event a couple of nights ago, as part of, of my job, I <laughs> was paid to go bowling two days ago, and I'm still sore. I'm still sore. <laughs> bowling. <laughs> so, so I'm not at your level, Joe. So is that like team You're, building, a bowling activity? What that was, that was a, yeah, that was a, a, a bowling event that a local uh, association had. Okay. And so the firm, we 
we mounted up a team and, and went bowling and did. And we, we did, did not right. train appropriately for it. Because did you use the rails or did you go? No, no, oh, we didn't. Yeah, it's a tournament. That. They wouldn't let you, right? They wouldn't yeah. let you use the rails. There was no rails, but it, it was, was nine, nine pin. pin. Yeah. Ah, nine pin. That usually yeah. helps out a lot for yeah. me. So. so, but anyway, yeah, I, I too, I didn't want to admit it in the office, <laughs> but I'll admit it on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Perfect. None of our, the staff is watching this anyway. But I was, I got up and I was like, man, did I hurt my knee? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what happened? Josh, you know, you as my rec league basketball coach for many years, I know you're in awe of my sheer athleticism. <laughs> right, does not translate to bowling in any way, man. No, no, no you have form. never, you have never been a. It you, doesn't translate. You have many uh, athletic uh, abilities, but it has never translated to to a bowling. I can you. put together like two or three good frames sometime, and I'll be like, I'm figuring this out, man. Yeah, you see, you see, and then it falls apart. You seem uncomfortable. I get in my head too much, man. I get in my head, you know. But, You're a uh, competitor. You want to be good yeah. at it, and it's just well, frustrating. One of our team members got a uh, – we were we were bowling, and one of our team members, who shall go uh, nameless, was not Cassandra, was not me. Did we uh, have three people on the team? This is going to be easy had, to figure. <laughs> 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 I guess you had to be there to deduce who this was. But, you know, there's only so many things you can do wrong in bowling, right? You can get a gutter, you can get a strike, but there's not really – you know, it's like basketball where you, yeah, you yeah. get technical fouls yes. or travel, right? There's not – but, but the only thing you can do, like you cross the line, it's a foul. Okay, there's a worse thing. We'll talk about that. But, yeah, you cross the line, that's a foul. I'm so we had, we had a teammate get a foul <sighs> in the bowling tournament. The, what's worse than that is when you do the thing, it's, it's, it's not frequent, but when you do the thing, you hold the ball, and you literally throw it across lanes. And oh, smack I don't it. even know what that is. Well, that's I, a thing. You've never seen that happen? That's someone? called getting kicked out of the lane. It's <laughs> just a gutter, right? You just It's just... It's a gutter, but I'm talking like you literally throw it o- out of your lane hands. and it travels a lane or two over. I don't think I've ever I've, seen that happen. You haven't been watching a lot of bowling. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. They're holding the follow through a little yeah, too yeah, long. Yeah. Well, our segment was not about any of that. <laughs> our segment is uh, just to follow up on the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, uh, which the last time we talked about it, we were we were in the middle of Johnny Depp's uh that doesn't even seem like a real name. That seems like that's a character name. That's a sweet name, though, man, honestly. Oh, oh, this is that. Speaking of names, this is not important either. So I wouldn't watch Doctor Strange. Uh huh. Good yeah. movie. Yeah. Has, you seen it? I don't know. I've you heard it's like, good. What Doctor <laughs> Strange 2? I've, I've heard not it's good. What do you do? Have you seen, do you know who Doctor Strange is? It's not a movie about the medical field. I was just going to bring up yeah. Alley Cats, the Disney movie. Okay. But we'll, yeah. Doctor Strange. <laughs> well, we, we need to get back to that. It sounded important. I don't know what that is. That sounded important. Oh, you haven't seen But I saw Doctor Strange too, And with any Marvel, it was very good. Everybody should go see it. Yeah. Any any Marvel movie now, you've, I already know ahead of time, does this have one end of credit sequence or two or yep. three? Right? So we're all sitting there, and we, we get through the first mid-credit sure. scene. And so then you're stuck sitting there, right? Because you know there's one coming up at the end. So yep. you actually have to wait, which is brilliant, because who would pay attention to the but No I'm, one would. But I'm reading the credits because you're there, you're bored, and you're just watching and right after that middle scene, if you look, there's like a, I think it was director of photography. It's like right in the middle and there's three names. And one of the names is Johnny Gamble. Wow. And I, and, and I hope that's his, this guy's real name. Sure. And, but I almost want it to be my name. I thought about maybe this is. It could be. There's I'd, a legal avenue. I'd vote that, that for a Judge name. Gamble. <laughs> oh, I'd yeah. That'd be a good. Yeah. Any criminal type thing, right? Any, any like a Judge Larceny. Ooh. Judge Murder. Judge Murder. <laughs> murder Jones. All right. Cassandra, you had an important point <laughs> in this Johnny okay. Depp trial to bring up. Oh, nope. That was about bowling, alley cats. Uh, <laughs> so is this a movie? What is this? Yeah, it was yeah. a Disney original movie about a bowling team. Were they cats? They weren't cats, okay. but they were nerdy, and it comes down to the final thing, and it's an 8-10 split, and this girl sits down on the floor and starts spinning the bowling ball and then gently Just pushes it. <laughs> this sounds That's like a classic movie. And, and I considered doing Not that. seen Alley Cats. Johnny Depp, not in Alley Cats. No Amber Heard. No. Zach Efron in Alley Cats. I'm trying to figure who who is the... Zach and Zach, weren't, or they were Disney people, weren't they? Zach and Zach, Zach and Cody, Sweet uh, Life of Zach and Cody. You, your kids probably Lizzie, saw that. Lizzie one. McGuire, is yeah, that a she's thing? Still she's still great. She yeah, just has a well. yeah. The How I Met Your Father. I'm gonna she's be honest with you, man. I really enjoy. I, I think this should be a new thing where we present a segment and don't speak about. Well, it. Well, I think this is a metaphor for how <laughs> we, unimportant. Yeah, that's a good does. point, man. <laughs> Legally, now, and this is the thing. You say it's unimportant, but you see like the stats of who's live streaming it. You had 587,000 people live streaming this trial mm. and, and i think when you say it's unimportant like it's unimportant in the sense that it's going to have no bearing on like the law like there's not going to be any kind of groundbreaking changes that come from this case 
But like, th- it's it's entertaining to people, man. It's like a train wreck. People I, love to see a train wreck where no one dies, right? Yeah, I mean, millions of people watch the Kardashians. I yeah, don't exactly. That. Yeah. Can you imagine if they were suing each other for defamation? This is like the same amount of people that watch wrestling on any given day. Yeah. They should wrestle. Well, we, we, we had an editorial in our materials for the show. I read this editorial. There was an attorney out of Virginia who, like us, was like, this this is not important. Yeah. Right? It's not going to result in any new law. Like, I think we said that. It's like, this is... This is if this if these people weren't famous, you would never in a million years know that this was happening. Maybe the defecation angle. No, would you I, I, I guarantee you, man. There's hundreds of people pooping in beds every day, and you don't hear about it. It's just not a big. It's just not, not a, a big, big deal. Story. How does it come up? How, how does that come up? No one's gonna at the water cooler. That'd like, be hey, interesting. Guess what happened to me yesterday? <laughs> My spouse defecated. My lady came in. <laughs> yeah, it's not a thing, man. I uh, but he this 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 uh, attorney. I think it was a she. This attorney was like, I hope. They both get judgments against them, right? She hopes yeah. that's the result because there's a, you know, there's Johnny Depp's claim of defamation, there's a counterclaim of defamation, uh, and she hopes they both win, right? <laughs> they both just get judgments against each other, and we all get to go back to uh, talking about alley cats or alley cats, yeah. more important pressing things. <laughs> yes, sounds like a great movie, man. I'm gonna put my kids on it as soon as possible. I can't believe you hadn't seen it. Well, how long? Like this is not that long ago it of a, of a like... Disney original. No, it was a long time ago. That's why you should have uh, seen it. Now, see, I, I, like, never, I, the, I, I missed the boat on the Disney movies. Like, like did that it come wasn't out in movie theaters, was, or was I, it? I cared about. No, it's, it's an old cartoon. A, is this pre no, or post? No, it was, it was live. It was, oh, it was live. Is this like a, pre or post? So this is this like is a late TV 90s, show. Early or this is a movie. Is this a Disney original movie? Okay, is this pre or post High School Musical one? Pre. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Was this about the same time as like the Paula Abdul scat? Video to cat. What was that cat? Scat. It's, Are we it's back to talking about the herd trial and pre? I gotta look this up. Give me one second, <laughs> High please. High school musical. I gotta see who's in this movie. <laughs> All right. We'll okay. get an update. <laughs> we'll get an update. Yeah. The show is officially off the rails. <laughs> I love that. We're having some fun. The outlaw lawyers, Josh Whitaker and Joe Hammer, managing partners at Whitaker and Hammer Law Firm. They're practicing attorneys here in the great state of North Carolina. And again, our guest this week is Cassandra Nicholas, also an attorney at Whitaker & Hammer. I'm Morgan Patrick, consumer advocate. If you've got a legal situation, not a movie question, but a legal situation that you need answers to, I've got a phone number for you. 800-659-1186. That's 800-659-1186. Leave your contact info and briefly what that call is about. And an attorney with Whitaker & Hammer will be in touch. And as always, you can email the program questions at theoutlawlawyer.com and we'll answer it on a future show. 